Hey guys, Sleep Grandma here. Um, please like and share this video. Please hit the like button coming in. Today I want to talk about, uh, what I want to talk about, relationships. So I was watching uh, TikTok the other day and I saw this guy on there by the name of uh, Coach Greg Adams. And he was saying that men age like wine and women age like milk. <laughs> How arrogant is that? Anyway, I disagree. I beg to differ. Um, no sweet cakes. So inaccurate. So arrogant. No, men, um, now I'm not going to mail bash. If, you, if that's what you're here for, no. I don't mail bash. I love men. I love, um, I think they're wonderful. I love them for the way they are, but aging well, you take a man of 50 and a woman of 50, you know, I see a lot of guys with these big fat bellies and they put on these little bitty shorts um, with their skinny legs and sandals. And I'm telling you, my ex-husband, he goes around like that. And it's just, it's really a disgusting look, guys. I don't care how comfortable it is. If you want a woman, you better get rid of that look. So anyway, um, and that's not to say anything against my ex. I mean, what do I care? I don't, um, <laughs> we've been divorced for 20 years, so who cares what he looks like? But I'm just saying, you know, it's that lack of caring. Let me just say, talk about this real quick. I had that Fraxel treatment done on my face. They burned off the first three layers of my skin to get the spots off. It's still clearing up, so. Anyway, that's my next video. So anyway, let's keep going. So yeah, so he was saying that. He was saying that women uh, don't take care of themselves. They have to have all this makeup. They have to have all this surgery, uh, which is absolutely not true. I, as you know, am 64, going to be 65 in uh, October. And um, if I must say so myself, I think I look pretty fabulous. And I haven't like really taken care of myself, you know, like I don't go to the spa all the time. I don't, definitely I have no Botox, no fillers, nothing like that. Uh, all I have is just because I had that melasma on my face and my daughter offered to pay to have it removed. So they took the first three layers off, but look, I, I'm still covering up a little bit of spots over here. Now that's because I'm going to work later on, take care of two little boys. And, uh, you know, I like to look professional. Remember how my other videos say you always need to look professional. If I sound a little sluggish and slurry, it's because I'm really tired. And um, didn't get to sleep till 4 in the morning. And then I woke up at 9.30. So I only got five hours of sleep. So, anywho. Um, yeah. So this is like... <laughs> now, now, this is me... Um, when I'm not like on at top form, which is pretty good. So this guy claims that uh, you're never gonna find a man if you don't look better, you better take care of yourself, and women should be thankful any man to even looking at him, blah, blah, blah. Well, let me tell you something, honey. Marriage is for men. When a woman gets married, she ends up Cooking and cleaning for this guy for the next at least 25 years. Having his kids, taking care of the kids, and anything the kids need. So she's taking care of, let's say they have two kids. She's taking care of him because he becomes like her son. And, and I'm talking for the most part. Not all marriages. There are exceptions to any rule. But in most marriages, even when he cleans, he doesn't do it right. Just saying. Uh, my husband used to say, you know, I'm gonna, I, oh, I clean the kitchen. And I go in there and I say, what about the counter here? Or what about it? I cleaned it. I said, no, you didn't. You didn't pull the stuff forward, the sugar container, the flour container, and clean behind that. Oh, that, oh, I don't want to be bothered with that. No, that's part of the cleaning. Do it, do it right. So anyway, um, yeah, I mean... <laughs> In my particular case, I was head of household. Not that I signed up for that, but I ended up being head of household and um, cooking and cleaning, and I made him 
have a partnership with me because I was like, look, if I'm going to help you <laughs> bring home the bake, bake gun, you're going to help me cook it. So anyway, that's the way that ended up. But um, no, my marriage didn't fall apart because I was a bitch. My marriage fell apart because um, he was just impossible to deal with. So that's another video. Anyway, I'm, I, don't, I really try not to visit that section of my life anymore. Uh, the only good thing about that section was my daughter. Is my daughter's. <laughs> so anyway, but what I'm trying to stress to you is, um, so this guy apparently thinks that, uh, <laughs> so this chubby, this chubby, uh, stocky, bald guy with the beard, salt and pepper beard, thinks that he's the shit. You know, he thinks he's a catch. And that women should be grateful if he if he even looks their way. And I'm just like, really, dude? Are you serious? You know, I went one time to um, Vegas, and my friend and I were looking for. I said to myself, let me see if I can find a good-looking man versus good-looking woman. You know, how many good-looking men are there out there versus good-looking women? Four good-looking women. <laughs> I saw a lot of beautiful women of all ages, saw a lot of fat guys, I saw a lot of overweight guys, I saw a lot of guys that you could tell they just threw on a shirt and left, wouldn't put on um, any kind of um, get dressed up, wouldn't even put on long pants to go to dinner, I mean, come on. So um, yeah, I mean, I just can't, now I know a lot of good guys, I have a lot of brothers good brothers in AA um, that are really nice guys. The one guy that I, um, there, I mean, there's just a really a lot of nice men now. Mind you, the one that I was interested in, and he was interested in me, but turns out, uh, I mean, he was married. He was married. I didn't have anything to do with him. No, guys, I did not fool around with the man. But he was a really good man, and yes, I was in love with him. But because he was such a good person. But I was kind of helping him work through some problems with his wife, and he ended up staying with her, and that's fine with me. But um, I gotta tell you, there's a whole lot of nothing out here. I mean, I feel like all the good ones are taken. I could be wrong, but that's been my experience. Um. You know, when you when you get a um, you start dating a guy, he starts asking you to make phone calls for him and open his mail and do all this kind of stuff like you're some kind of secretary. I mean, this has been my experience with three boyfriends I had. One asked me to make a phone call to I think it was AT and T for him, and I said no. And he said why not? And I said because he said why not? I don't like to do stuff like that. And I said what makes you think I do? I don't like to do stuff like that either. Hello? And um, the other one wanted me to open his mail and talk to his doctor. And uh, and what else did he want me to do? Oh, he wanted me to fill out the paperwork in the doctor's office. I, he gave me the whole package. He says, now, this man was saying that a lot of women don't want to cook and clean anymore. And that's not true. I mean, of course we don't want to cook and clean. I mean, who does? But you will cook and clean for the right person. Okay? I tell you, for that guy... If we had got together, um, I would gladly cook and clean for him every day and taking care of him. But uh, <laughs> because that's my way, I, I don't mind doing. I love doing stuff for the people I love. I'm that way with my daughters. I'm that way with my boyfriends. You know, I cook trays of enchiladas for them and their family. I mean, I'm a very giving person. But uh, what I've learned to do, what what I've been taught the hard way, is that. Uh, you don't do unless they do for you. You show me yours and I'll show you mine. <laughs> I mean, I can be very loving and very sweet, believe it or not. Um, but yeah, I, I've been too loving and too sweet to some people and I've been taken advantage of. We're not going to go into my martyr song. Anyway, uh, <laughs> no, I'm just saying that um, I'm very happy with my life the way it is right now. And I'm not looking for anybody, so... <laughs>